So you're sitting at home and you're thinking to yourself, I'm going to play some guitar tonight. But your walls are really, really thin. You can hear your neighbours every move. So what do you do? Let's talk about the silent pick. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I'm here once again in our super best, very, very quiet test location in the southwest of England. Now, the reason I'm talking so quietly today is because we're going to talk about a plectrum made by Katori Works in Japan that's almost exclusively for the Japanese market, but it's so unusual that I thought I would share it with you here. So, the silent pick is wafer thin. It comes in at just about 0.1 of a millimeter. Now, the reason why Katori developed this plectrum is because in Japan, uh, the walls between premises are very, very thin. People are extremely conscious of forcing their noise on other people. And the idea behind it is that you're still able to play the guitar um, and get the same tone, but very, very, very quietly. So the best way for me to demonstrate this is practically, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this microphone, an SM58, and I'm going to put it up to my electric and I'm going to play my electric unplugged so you can hear the sound because not a lot of point in having uh, a really thin plectrum designed for silence if you're going to whack it through an amp as well. Before we do this test though, I want to give a big shout out to Rob over at Hawk Picks because uh, I'm using one of his Tonebird 3s uh, in casing at 3mm with grip holes and oblique bevels for this test. So we're going to go Hawk first, Master 8, Infinix U 1.2 millisecond and then the Katori sound. I know I don't need to remind you about this, but this is a serious headphones on moment. So if you're watching this on your phone, grab your cans, stick your earbuds in, whatever, and you'll get a real sense of what it does. Let's go. So at this point you're probably thinking to yourself, well what is the point in this? Well we've got to look at this from a slightly different perspective. In Japan, where you have significantly smaller residences for families or individuals and much much thinner walls, personal space and the perception of noise is at something of a premium. So if you want to play the guitar really really quietly, especially for an unplugged electric like that, then this is exactly what you want. It is a bit of a weird experience to use because there is no rigidity at all, hardly. It's very, very floppy. Um, you've got these empty bits all the way around the outside, as you can see, and then you've got the big bit in the middle. Um, but I found that the sound is very like what I get from my heavier plectrums. It's just infinitely softer. It's the, the weirdest experience of all the picks I have um, this is by far and away the most unique just because there's nothing else I have that's anything like it. Even the thinner Dunlops sound completely different. Um, what is interesting about this, if we take it out of its intended context, which is obviously to be used in a very, very noise conscious environment, and you try and use it as part of your normal setup, because the pick is so floppy, um, you can't really go like that with it and do any shredding with it because you would hardly buy something like this if you were. It is worth noting that a lot of players will go out there and just want to mash out riffs or whatever, but there is a huge community of people uh, doing loops and drone and ambient stuff and wanting to get a sound that doesn't possess the same level of attack. So if, if you want to get the softest, the most gentle sound 
out of a guitar possible, or you're living in a house with very, very thin walls and you want to keep playing at night. This is unparalleled. Katori are a wicked company to deal with. They were very, very good with me, including my complete lack of Japanese uh, when we were having a chat. So um, I really recommend them as people uh, and as an organization. They make normal picks as well, like the lock pick. More on that later. This pick stands alone in the Plectroverse. It's its own thing. And for curiosity's sake alone, go and get one of these. So I hope you enjoyed this little rundown on the Katori Silent Pick. I'll be back with more news, reviews, interviews, science history and so on. If you'd like to support the channel, the Patreon is linked below. And you can chuck a dollar a month uh, at the rep. And all that money goes back into equipment and traveling to speak to people. And just making the channel a better place for you and a better experience for everyone in the Plectroverse. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Tron Davidson. This is Heavy Repping, and I'll see you soon. So remember, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard and rep heavy.